music's good so far. It seems like you need to be solaced Telling from the scratch on your knee You fell and got hurt in the process And now you come crying to me I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants They're short Don't involved. worry, my dear There is nothing to fear just a stitch and a sew Soon it's almost as yarn. new And the cat will adhere After all you have to Admit it is not as severe Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care of you and up, Scott, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. <laughs> well, don't give me that kind of look now. Just keep going on, soon you will. See how everything will end well, though. It still may depend on your skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead If you're clumsy and plump and all fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad, especially when it comes To delicate operations like that <laughs> Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed The lyrics have me concerned I guess I should revise my statement The wound is not going to heal Forget about all that I said and Work harder on your stitching skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying I merely was trying to help Oh, I have needle and stitch right here um. Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I mean, if you just saw a picture of I can't stand to watch children bleed. Oof, oof. <laughs> I saw a picture of a little stuffed animal getting there. Hello, dear friends of Adventure Games. Well, hello. The spyware we installed on your computers <laughs> tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I will refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for you. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Right. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum. <laughs> but also with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. Yeah, we don't want the that. The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, Aww. the most virtuous child in the entire world. Look at her. And it begins in the courtyard of a small, sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. But enough of that. It's a beautiful, sunny day. Aww. And Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. 
Jí Vacka. How many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of <laughs> cheerful children. These ch ch children are driving me crazy. Okay, here I will go. Chapter one: The Convent. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Is that Moloch making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? <laughs> uh huh. Tch, how boring. And so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya. There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. <laughs> to minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, <laughs> we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. I'm concerned, Jolly. I'm concerned. Do you want concerned. to play the tutorial? I think perhaps I should play the tutorial. You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of I'm you. I'm a smart girl. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. That's good. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. Does it? To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Would you look at that? Look at that. The red eyes show which items can red be used. Eyes. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Okay. Just move the cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. You can now make the move with a left mouse click. All right. But be careful. Accidents can happen so quickly. They can, can't they? Oh, okay. Look at my... That's a little bunny cursor. Leaves. Rake Hot leaves. diggity! Hot You've diggity. taken the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> oh, God! But your work isn't done yet. Finish the task for Mother Superior. It can't be that hard, can it? No. No. How hard could it be? Apparently harder than I realized. Um, do you need me to pause this? And there, my dear sister, is uh, the reason why it is sometimes complicated <laughs> to record video game play in a common area. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, all right. I should have gone the other way, apparently. Um. <laughs> What's that noise outside? I can't believe this Whoa, is... Oh, that's a never-ending task. Yeah, it is. Maybe you have to come up with something else to complete this job. Press the space bar again. Maybe there's another place where you can rake. Just the stone slabs. And that doesn't sound pleasant. Let's try this one. Nope, sounds the same awful. Lily, now I've had it up to here. I guess 
I overestimated you once again. You're not even fit to rake leaves. No. <sighs> Nice. It doesn't matter. Are you sure? I have two new tasks for you. Oh the dear. flower beds in the backyard have to be dug up again. Can you manage that? No. <laughs> uh -huh. I doubt it, but we'll see. And while you're in the backyard, the swing tree is infested by termites. Come up with something to get rid of them for good. So, one more time for the really clueless. First, <laughs> Dang. The flower beds. Second, Get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You will be very sorry if you don't do a good job. Oh, she's a crab. Lily has finished raking. <laughs> she's no longer holding the rake in her hand, but she still got it with her. Oh. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's inventory. Okay. Move the mouse cursor to the lower right edge of the screen to open the inventory. Be careful you don't <laughs> get your finger caught. Amputations are such unhappy affairs. Oh my, what a weird little... Good. There it now, is. click on the Inventory. rake symbol with the left mouse button to pick up the rake again. You can now use the rake with other objects at any time, even with other inventory items. Okay. When you're done, use the right mouse button to carefully put the rake back carefully. into the inventory. Now Got it. that Lily has been relieved of her first task, it's time to get familiar with the basic game mechanics. All right. Press the left mouse button to send Lily wherever you want. Mm. Whenever Lily can leave a location, the cursor changes into an arrow. Okay. First, follow Edna in the backyard. The exit can be found at the right edge of the monitor. But be careful <laughs> that the arrow is sharp. Lordy. Okay. Oh. Boop, to the backyard. Off you go, Lily. When doing garden work, remember, stay alert. <laughs> the cursor changes whenever Lily can interact with an object. Most objects can be examined. If so, an eye will appear on the right half of the cursor. Click with the right mouse button to execute this action. Why don't you try it on the compost barrel? Well, I think I will. Oh, see, now he's got a little beady. <laughs> the yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. Oh. A paradise for maggots and spiders. <laughs> Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. There are many items that you can interact with. Whenever an item can be used, a corresponding symbol is shown in the left half of the cursor. For example, you could suggest that Lily uses the tie swing. <laughs> but whether that is really such a good idea. No, that's that's not. Oh, you could push it though. Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire <laughs> swing. <laughs> that's why she immediately climbed on the termite infested tree. <laughs> At least she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the players signed off. Luckily, that turned out well. <laughs> Next to the hand that stands for use, take, and eat drink is also a speech bubble for talk. The computer automatically selects the right icon. This ensures that Lily neither puts her hand in a hornet's nest nor eats thumbtacks. Seeing as you're already here, have a chat with Lily's friend, Edna. She will certainly be pleased. Okay. There you go, Edna. Hey, Lily. Did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. But maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. Lily can discuss various topics. These are displayed as symbols at the bottom of the screen. Okay. The meaning of each symbol is displayed when you move the mouse over them. Any dialogue can be ended with the red X at any time. First, select the topic, Chores Assigned by Mother Superior. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pen. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Lily can sometimes expand on a topic. In this case, she can talk about her two new tasks. But you this can is a very long tutorial. To return to the first level of dialogue 
and choose another topic. Return to the first level and end the dialogue with X to close the tutorial. Or you can talk a while with Edna. I can't teach you anything more anyway. Have fun playing. Okay. Tutorials, uh... Well, you're not gonna let me do that, huh? Alright. Uh-oh. Wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. Oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. These flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. But that's fabulous. And you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You don't even have a choice. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. All we still <laughs> need is a shovel. A shovel. Okay, now can I close this? Why won't he let me close this? Okay. Um, the shovel, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh, I don't know where we can find a shovel either. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. Now we just need to find a way to get down into the cellar. You can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? Uh-uh. We really have to teach you how to do that one of these days. Uh but first, you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. Okay. Uh, she told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> it was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? <laughs> I even broke into the firefighters' museum to get the large red ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. Uh, I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. Ugh, <sighs> what the hell. Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I've run out of jelly. All right. Ah, that got rid of him. Okay. So, I think we are finally able to do what we like. Okay, so the cellar door is locked, obviously. The cellar door could only be opened with the correct key. <laughs> like the narrator. The cellar door could only be... Oh. Okay. Seeing some honey. That is... Uh, can I knock that down? Go find another place to play. Quit bossing me around. Sui. Apparently, Freeman was worried about Lily. <laughs> no thanks. I can do it myself. Lily's fellow student Freeman was bent over the edge of the well. If he moved forward just a little more, he'd fall in. Just like in Lily's favorite book. <laughs> Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. What are you doing? Uh, Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? Yes. I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Something is down there in the well. I can see something sparkling. Oh, man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. Ooh. That would be so gumbo. Gumbo? Let's see. Let me guess. You don't know what gumbo is, right? Uh-uh. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Guys as cool as me say that's totally gumbo. Or, uh, that gumbos. Oh, but no. you're just lame. Totally uh, un-gumbo. Uh, John Lee, I don't want to catch you using gumbo as a slang term. Do you hear me? Uh, I'm not going to handle that well. All right. Oh, uh -oh. Is this going to be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? Yeah, for sure. I'm so interested. I sense sarcasm. Boy. What now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh-so-great Mother Superior forbid that too? Probably. Oh, yeah? That just proves how absurd adults' rules are. Uh, <laughs> He's going to fall in that well. The what? well's deep. You're still here? Yes. Don't creep around like that. I like to. Though. The well from fright. Huh? 
Oh, how cute. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna climb down into the well. But not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. <laughs> just because it really is too dangerous. Okay. Fair Although... enough. Uh-oh. Um, time to go. <laughs> Oh, I got the garden hose. Hey, get lost. Go find another place to play. How sweet. A parent maybe he Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, I can go off to the convent. Lily wasn't allowed into the convent until the gardening had been done. Hopefully, okay. it wouldn't start hailing again. <laughs> Chimney Christmas. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Well, I've looked at everything I can look at here. Okay. Uh-oh. Did he fall in the well? <laughs> when Lily returned to the well, Freeman, Freeman is, gone. is gone. Oh, maybe I can get these bees now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Clumsy Lily had actually dropped the bee's nest into the well. <laughs> the bees didn't like it too much either. Oh. Their buzzing sounded different than usual. Okay, um, maybe... <laughs> maybe we can help him out with the garden hose. Lily! Help! Lily heard strange noises from the bottom of the well. But she was a good little girl, and she knew she wasn't supposed to play near the well. Just like Freeman. She had even told him so herself. Where could he be? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, where could he be, Georgie? Where could Freeman have gone? Oh, here's the... Maybe we can fill the well up and he can swim to the top? That's gotta be right, right? Too bad. The faucet was dry. Ooh. Huh. A brush. Okay. Anything? A jackhammer. The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Okay. Where could the hose lead to? Where could the hose lead to? Too bad. The faucet was dry. Hmm. Well, I mean... I wonder if it would... Nope, that's where the other end is supposed to go, otherwise it would have given me a chance to take it back. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's try Don't bother, it. Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten much closer to her goal. <laughs> okay, so what am I gonna do here? Uh, this hadn't been very effective. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Freeman's in the well. I probably need that honey to get the termites. I need the shovel. I need that key. I need to probably put more water into this well. Lily! Yeah. Lily heard but 
she will just work. Okay. All right. And it won't let me go into the convent yet. Anything else to look at? No. Okay. Anything to look at here? Oh. Oh. We have the bushes aside here. Lily was excited. Yeah. What did lead to? Well, let's find out. What a surprise. The hose led to a thing. Okay. Lily, turn that off immediately. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I can't. Take the hose. Oh, wait. I wonder if I can attach it to the... Ah. Okay. Is she going to be able to hear it now? Lily! Have you completely lost your mind? immediately but did I not tell you exactly what you should be doing I just c c can't believe <laughs> you keep finding new ways to disappoint me okay um, Lily didn't understand what she had done wrong I wonder if that was enough water to help it is oh good deal okay so we'll Lily take that. thought about collecting the honey with her bare hands but then she remembered her recent scolding at the cafeteria. Oh dear. She needed a better plan. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Boop. Yay. Let's talk to Freeman. He looks so happy. Um. Ah. Lily. Thanks a lot for your great help. You really <sighs> did a fantastic job. So if sarcastic. If I can ever help you. Uh. Oh. You want the cellar key, but of course not. What in the world are you thinking? <laughs> You're the one who got me to go into the well. What? It's your fault that I fell in. But instead of helping me get out, you throw a beehive <laughs> on my head and nearly drown me. Look at me. I'm wet, covered in bee stings, and smeared from head to toe with honey. I know everyone thinks you're sweet and harmless. Yes, she is. But you're actually a walking disaster. You can definitely forget about the key. You keep away from me. Well, okay. Mr. Krabby Appleton. I got other things to do anyway. Like... Lily would have liked to show the tree all of her great things, <laughs> but it didn't even want to hear her. Oh well, Lily was used to it. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the termites to. Yeah. Lily started right away. There we go. Little termites. So far, the plan had worked well. <laughs> Maybe a little too well. Aww. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Uh-oh. Ah! No, don't get away! Ah! Strange uh sounds were drifting towards her from over there. Uh-oh. It was probably the termites celebrating <laughs> their new home. Oh, is that sweet? Freeman had now left for good, but at least the termites had found a new um. home on the bench. And as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. One of those funny gnomes? Uh oh. Well, there's the cellar key, anyway. <laughs> um. I'm sure it's fine. Um. <laughs> 
Well, uh, next time we'll, uh... <laughs> okay, uh, next time <laughs> we'll uh, go into the cellar and see about getting us a shovel. <laughs> Bye, brat.